Swansea University and the Bloodhound Project go right back to the start of the project. Um, very early on in Bloodhound it was clear that one of the key things to success on this project was going to be the aerodynamic design. Uh, so Richard Noble and Andy Green and Ron Ayres came to Swansea University because we are one of the world's uh, leading universities in terms of aerodynamic modelling um, and invited us to partner with them. CFD stands for Computational Fluid Dynamics. And in the simplest sense, I guess what CFD is, is virtual wind tunnel analysis. So the kind of work that typically you might do in a wind tunnel to try and understand the flow of air over fast moving bodies, we instead do inside a large supercomputer. The College of Engineering at Swansea has a long, strong history of computational modelling. Partly because of a professor who worked here back in the 60s and 70s called Professor Oleg Zenkevich, who was one of the grandfathers of a, a pioneering technique called the finite element method. And off that platform, uh, we've developed lots of techniques in terms of CFD modelling, stress analysis, electromagnetics modelling, um, to make us today one of the world leaders in terms of computer modelling. So the CFD process um, and all the simulations that have been run here at Swansea University has been the real driver of the aerodynamic design of Bloodhound. So that means the external shape of the car. So the reason Bloodhound is the shape it is, is because all of the CFD work that's been going on at, at Swansea University. The big challenge we've been trying to overcome on the Bloodhound project is how do you keep the drag of the car, that's the resistive force pushing the car back as low as possible, whilst also maintaining uh, sensible vertical loads on the car or sensible lift or downforce loads on the car. Those are the two big questions we've been answering over the past few years. We believe we've got those answers right and now as we start testing the car we're going to find out whether or not in fact we are right. Mm -hmm.